talk frequently, and thank God you're promoting this way of life and this technology um, because we're losing the background every day because we're, we're losing the people that deal with mechanical things that are antiques. Sneaking I, up on you. I hate to say it, but that's okay. So they went, he went in over to the local motor show and said, everything? Like beavers, they'll, they'll find a way. <laughs> We took some plastic. <laughs> I took, yeah. Okay. Dri dri driving the plow truck. <laughs> I don't know. And, we'll, and when he came? A little bit, I think. Yeah. I think. That layer is a magnetite layer. Yeah, your initial, your initial reaction to steel, oxygen, and water will uh, precipitate as a magnetite layer, which is just the iron coming out of the, the steel. Yes. And that it's a protective coating. Yep. So they minor minor uh, layer scale. That's very little scale. That's good. I remember this is gonna be good. Of course, for me, I always like direct to seal, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, that feels a lot better. That. Lombard didn't give us much room for that. No. Much. <laughs> Sean's uh, installing the fusible plug, which is deep inside the uh, boiler. Uh, just a long reach. Lefty hurt. And you know what happens with lefties? We always hit the reverse button. Let's go. Let's go. It's on the steam dome. Terry, uh, didn't really use that new wrench much, did he? Initially, they're going for 150 foot pounds. There we go. I don't know if that was his elbow or if that was the wrench. <laughs> so now, put the cranker up. We may have to get John to take much of it. Okay, so they've gone around and done it, all of them 150 foot pounds, and now they're going for two, 250. The uh, steam chest uh, plug, and that's a slug wrench, isn't it? Yeah, and notice how clean I am at the moment. Looking pretty good so far, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this way you see my butt. Lombard didn't make this one easy. Oh, that's great. So they call that a slug wrench. Very tough place. I think I almost got her, Herb. I think we got it. Nice job, Terry.
process with the uh, compressor right now. That would look good. We've got a pressurize. Do the, uh... John's checking for leaks on the fusible plug. Okay. Terry, what's the pressure on this thing? So we're up to 55. Okay. And we got this one here. Any bubbles? Nope, looks good. Using a soapy water and looking for any bubbles. A test run with compressed air. Alright, that's the first run of 2023. Terry's uh, at the throttle. Look at that. successful first run. Just uh, the uh, Kirkle Lombard next. Actually uh, got this thing through the inspection, uh, did a pressure test, and actually ran both Lombards. We look a little bit dirty. <laughs> so, dirty than I am. How do you run, folks? <laughs> what do you we think? We have for total distance today about 150 feet. About 150 feet, yeah. But it's a good 150 it's feet. It's a good 150 feet. Yeah. And we had some uh, visitors that were pleased. So. Good job. All right. <laughs> different Lombards in one day. I have. I think that's a record here. I think so. Do you have a favorite? Oh, I like them all. I really do. <laughs> I really do. It's hard to choose. <laughs>